Hi, my name is Camille Bauer, and today I'm going to show you how to knit on circular needles or double pointed needles. Um, circular needles and double pointed needles both give you the same purpose if you're joining in the round, which is going to create um, a continuous circle. Why would you use circular over double pointed needles? Um, a lot of it boils down to, unless the pattern specifies, uh, preference. Uh, I prefer to use uh, circular needles and so I will jaunt and grab a circular over some double pointed needles. Um, but the concept is the same and I'm going to show you that. So you're going to, with your circular needle, you're going to cast on however many stitches you need to. Then your working yarn is on the right and you make sure, this is vital when you join in the round on circular and double point, that you've got that smooth edge all the way. And see right here it's twisted and my whole project will be ruined if it's twisted. So you want to make sure that it's smooth all the way around and then you could place a stitch marker right on the top. Grab one. And then on your circular needle, you would knit your first stitch, thus joining yourself in the round on a circular needle. If you did it on double pointed needles, um, it's just a little bit more work and maybe that's why I like the circular over the double pointed, but a lot of people like double pointed needles. So here I have casted on a certain amount relevant to one needle and you're going to repeat this over three needles. So you have to cast on, so if your pattern said cast on 30 stitches, if you're, ca if you're grabbing your double pointed needles, you would need to divide that by three, which would make your cast on 10 on each needle. So grabbing an another needle you would cast on the remainder or the last third of however many your pattern called for. So double pointed needles to a lot of people that I've taught are more um, intimidating versus a circular is not. But if you're contemplating, if you've knitted a while and you're contemplating should I do circular or double pointed needles? It's always good to, to try both because then you know what you like. So here on the double pointed needles versus the circular needle, so here's my circular needle, here's what that looks like, then here's going to be my double pointed needles joined in the round right here. Now again the same concept making sure that ridge is not twisted you're going to, with the working yarn on your right, go and knit. And now you have joined in the round on double pointed needles. So the concept of circular and double pointed is to be able to create a continuous loop. And sometimes your circulars can't get that small. Um, and so a lot of socks and smaller projects you have to do on double pointed needles. So. Um, Try it out. Try both out and see what you like. And thank you so much and happy knitting.